Well, uh, 13 people <clears throat> lost their lives when the 35W bridge collapsed in the Mississippi River, and another 145 people were injured. As you might imagine, many of the dead were trapped underwater in cars, entangled by concrete and steel debris. So perilous was the recovery that a team of specially trained Navy divers, divers rather, was sent to assist. Bill Hudson got a chance to reconnect with two of them who recall the challenges of maneuvering amid so much debris. Only hours into the search for bridge victims, it was apparent diving amid the tangled web of wreckage would need an elite team trained in mass tragedies. I recall it was an immediate response to a request made through uh, the government of Minnesota, uh, requesting from the President of the United States. Noah Gottesman and Brian Bennett were among the 16 U.S. Navy divers assigned the job, part of the same team that pulled bodies and data recorders from the crash of TWA Flight 800 11 years earlier. We honestly didn't know what was down there until we did a survey of it. The first five victims were recovered by local dive teams, but deeper into the twisted wreckage were thought to be another eight. The collapse was a lot of sharp metal, uh, debris, concrete, rebar. As the team's underwater footage shows, water conditions were murky, muddy, and treacherous. Rebar, sharp objects, and you're crawling through you know, 20 feet of wreckage to, to get to where we needed to go. Working from an Army Corps barge, they'd cover every inch, tethered to oxygen tanks above the water to stay submerged much longer. Yet despite the sobering reality of retrieving dead bodies from the wreckage, divers say they were left with a positive feeling about their service, mostly because of the help they brought so many grieving families. We were honored to be able to come bring closure to families and taking part in something like that. A connection that brought them back to the Twin Cities recently to lay a wreath of white lilies into the river. Remembrance of the lives lost and a community still stinging with pain. Bill Hudson, WCCO, 4 News. In honor and remembrance of those who were killed or injured in the 35W bridge collapse a decade ago, Governor Mark Dayton has ordered all U.S. and Minnesota flags to be flown at half-staff tomorrow.